how's it going? I hope you're all doing well and I'm nearly finished with my exams now which is so exciting and I had the DPS guy came again and we have another package which is super exciting so I thought I'd do another very quick unboxing and yeah this is another package from Taobao and I'm not actually sure which figure this is. Uh, we'll have to unbox it. There's a couple it could be, um, but I'll maybe do an intro of what it is once I've actually unboxed it and I can tell you what it is. But yeah, super excited for this. And it's such a nice treat to like open another figure when I'm in the process of finishing my exams. It's like, it's always such a delight when the postman comes and to just have a kind of a de-stress moment when all of, all the life craziness is going on but yeah anyway let's get unboxing Okay, just a heads up, I had a real tough time getting the rod through her hand, like it was a big push and I really had to like twist it to get through. This part comes off the end and then you do, you do just, it is a bit of wiggle and a bit of patience and eventually you do get the rod through. I stopped filming because it got so stressful <laughs> and I actually, ooh, whoops. Um, my my partner ended up helping me because he's really good at putting models together. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I get really nervous about it that I'm gonna break them and he's just like, no, just keep going. And I, maybe I'm just not patient, patient enough, I'm not sure, but anyway, he did that. But the Phoenix is a lot easier. Basically, it has a, a hole in the butt and that basically this big swirl that comes around, you basically just shove the swirl up the bud but actually, am I gonna struggle with this one? Yeah, there's kind of like an indent into it. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn you around, my da my darling. Hmm, maybe I'm gonna have to give my partner back to help with this. Oh dear. Why am I so bad at putting figures together? 
does anyone else have this struggle in life or is this just me i don't know like i just suck at it <laughs> anyway come on i'm an independent woman i don't need to call my partner Okay, so when you push it on, you have to do, it's a little bit twisted towards you, I'd say, like maybe not 45 degrees, but like 30 degrees, and then it wiggles on. Let's see, is that, is that far enough of the patootie? Let's keep going. I think I could probably get it on a little bit more than that, but uh, I don't know if I want to. I'm a little bit nervous about this. Oh, poor Phoenix. I really didn't think this is how I was going to spend its day, huh? Oh, yeah, it does go further. You just got to keep wiggling. Arrgh! Okay, I think that's probably the right amount. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so, yeah, this is her. Is she not fucking amazing? Like, seriously, she's so beautiful. Look at her, she's really heavy by the way, and I would be care I would warn you guys, just be careful because um, her base is a little bit wobbly. It's not super bad, but I notice a little bit of wobble. Front to back wobble, it's fine, just a little bit of sideways wobble. But honestly, look how beautiful she is. And look at the base. The base is just stunning. And like, look at the rod as well. I'm definitely gonna do some B-roll of her. But like, seriously, you can see how gorgeous she is. She looks amazing. And like, I just love her base. Her gold sandals look so nice. Um, so yeah, I'll include some B-roll with my actual thoughts on her. Her face is stunning. And like, I love the colors. They just are really aesthetic. They really match. And I love with like the kind of, she's got these kind of like phoenix uh, tail feathers that come off her dress. Um, but especially like the ones at the back, these two here, um, they've, they've got a gradation on them. So they fade from like an orange to a more like transparent lighter orange, which is really nicely done. Honestly, the shading on her is like immaculate and just generally the paint job. I mean, I need to probably have a bit more of a look at her paint job, but as far as I can see right now, it's flawless. Um, her hair sculpt is wonderful. They've done a really nice job of like the braid on the back. You can see, looks really good. And I really love how like the Phoenix feathers have like the blue kind of diamond pattern. It really makes me think of peacock feathers, how like they have like the different colors um that's really striking and i think the blue draws like a really nice contrast to the oranges on the figure and they've also included this on like the details of her rod up here um and so yeah and even oh i've just noticed her staff is actually like a phoenix that's like wrapping around kind of like a lampy mage style rod which just looks so good like they've done such a good job on this skull it's super dynamic like i love this kind of like almost like an S shape to the figure. Like, well, I guess it's kind of like a, a C, like a backward C shape to the figure. And like, it just is very dynamic and like, it really feels like she's just pulled out this kind of, this magic move where she's gone, woo, Phoenix attack. <laughs> um, she's just stunning. Oh man, the more I look at her, the more I love her. Oh, she's so beautiful. Anyway. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, the more subscribers, then I know I'm on the right track and you're enjoying my content. So yeah, anyway, have a nice day guys and hopefully speak to you soon. Bye.